Hello, hello, and welcome to Tarot Parlor Podcast. This episode is a requested reading for an expansion on two short and sweet scenarios in my last short and sweet video. This was for scenario number two and number five. It, uh, the second scenario, the King of Pentacles, had to do with the rug being pulled out from under someone and a loss of their stability. The fifth scenario was the Justice card, and that had something to do with um, a dark secret that will be exposed, something that's been kept hidden for a long time. I will be using Pagan's Way Tarot today. I have no um, idea of the background from the request, from where this request came, which is as I, as I prefer it. Um, I prefer not to know anything going into it. So I'm just going to start by pulling a single card at a time, and we'll see if the story unfolds and if eventually the tarot will give us the answers that we seek. And with that said, off we go. Okay, first card, Nine of Wands Reversed. What I'm feeling from this card right now is the secret that is hidden is something that someone has worked very hard to protect for a very long time. So, um, I'm feeling this isn't a secret that's new. And, uh, it, and it didn't come up that way in the short and sweet scenario either. It's something that's been kept quiet for a very long time. But the individual that's keeping this secret is also getting very tired. It's taken a lot of emotional, mental energy to keep this under wraps, to prevent anyone from knowing about it, hearing about it, learning about it. So their, their barriers and boundaries in that area are weakening as we speak. Next card, Ace of Cups reversed. Oh, it's titled Love in the, this deck, and it's actually reversed. Well, this could have to do with a past love or a past love interest. Or a love or a relationship that actually is no more. Next card, Knight of Wands, Adventure. There's a feeling of spontaneity about this card and kind of a recklessness. It's as though perhaps a reckless penchant for action and choices and decisions that are rash has, has added to this or has built upon this. Let's see here. Next card. Princess of Swords reversed. If you have been trying to have conversation with someone about this, to learn more about it, if, if there's something you suspected, I have a feeling that the conversation was never successful. Next card, Princess of Cups. You may have felt that in the course of of your experience with this that you have offered the cup of love or the cup of peace many times to have someone turn around and walk away or to ignore your efforts at um, I was gonna say reconciliation not quite a reconciliation to appreciate your efforts of maintaining and building on perhaps a relationship that already existed and um, they didn't appreciate this um, if they did at face value, they sure didn't. And I'm, I'm pretty sure you're aware of this. It just, uh, they would turn and, and walk away, or they would be led astray, or they would be, um, I'm feeling that they would be so wrapped up in their own um, adventures, or their, or their desire for adventures, that, that their attention span was zero, as I've heard someone say. We use that term before. Next card, Five of Cups. Mm. We're on our second row. We have four cups. Uh, with the Princess of Cups, I started a second row. So this Five of Cups is going right beneath the Ace of Cups, the love reversed. Um, there's the mourning, the loss of a connection here, and it feels like what's most missed is an emotional connection. Just not, not on the same page there. 
Next card, Six of Swords, the transition. It's also um, a, the divorce card for the tarot deck for many readers, including me. It's a card of moving on. It's a card of, of just deciding to go your own way and to explore the world on your own and to, to just move on. The card of moving on. Next card. Seven of Swords reversed. Deception reversed. Uh, I have a feeling that deception is what's led to your decision to not pursue a connection with someone anymore because they can't be trusted or their attention and their focus is split in so many different ways. Um, and deception is one, one of the things that led to, to uh, decisions you have made. Next card, Four of Pentacles, Control. It's as though someone has tried to maintain control and tried to hang on to something, but it's like the world and the relationship and the connection is getting icier and icier and icier. Pretty soon it's going to get so cold that you couldn't hang on to it anymore. Next card, The Moon. Secrets, again, secrets and deception. Beautiful card. This is my favorite card in the whole deck. And all of its positive attributes I uh, with the goddess and the moon phases and all of that wonderful stuff, women's mysteries, I love that. But in my tarot readings, more often than not, the moon is a card of deception. I feel that you may have gotten conflicting stories about something and you just kind of have closed your eyes and your mind and your emotions to something because it's it feels as though you've been on a, a roller coaster up and down and up and down and and you might have feel that you've heard the truth and now you haven't and now you've heard the truth and now you haven't there's a real up and down feeling with this card right now next card two of wands reversed dominion <laughs> thou shalt not have dominion over me where that came from, I don't know. If that is an actual quote, someone leave a comment and let me know because that just popped into my head. It's it's like, with everything that's transpired that we've already talked about through these cards, it's like you have decided for your own sanity and for, for a positive future for yourself to draw new boundaries and to not allow someone to have control over you any longer, to make your own decisions. I do believe there is a there is a very good sense of independence in there. Seven of Pentacles, cultivation, building on on something new, building on something new that you are trying to um, grow and and of course you're trying to build your life. It goes right on the heels of the Two of Wands, and it, and it's perfect. You have decided to set yourself apart and to put up boundaries. You have decided to build and grow your own life. And, and that's going to be a very satisfying thing. I'm going to pull three more cards to the side here. Just see see what, what last three cards. The secret. Um, I think that the secret has been revealed here. And I think you might be the only one to recognize it which is as it should be, so I'm not going to try to uncover it or explain it to the public at large who are listening to this video. I suspect that you have heard, heard the secret within this reading already, and it might even be something you have suspected, and this is just a confirmation. The last three cards, Nine of Pentacles, Gain, Finding Your Happy Place, Thinking of Yourself First, um, maintaining and trying to reach as a goal a stage in life, a position in life where you are happy and you are comfortable and you are self-satisfied. Next card, the Magician Reversed. Um, someone who is not up to their full potential. Once you reach this new stage, once you have set these new boundaries and you have, you've gone your own way and you're putting yourself first, you will discover um, a re-empowerment. And I hear a lot of people at certain stages of life or in certain 
in certain situations in life once there have been transitions and changes that that people often do this it's a resurgence of a of a re-empowerment they discover their strong points again which which either may have not been evident to them in their past circumstances or someone was stripping them of it so it's time to reclaim them last card for this reading is the nine of swords in spite of the positive aspect of like the last four cards that we've drawn, you still have anxiety and worry about some, some of this. Some of this isn't going to leave you. And you know that's normal. If you've been worrying and you've been overwhelmed by something for a period of time, just because you may have made all the right choices and decisions to set yourself on a new path, that doesn't make all that worry and all that stress and all that anxiety from, from what you've been through go away. You know, I think some people call this PTSD. So, with that said, I hope that you have made a tarot connection here. And as always, I always say that I hope you have found some inspiration or information here that will help you move forward in a positive, um, a positive manner with your life from this point forward. Here we go. And with that said, until the next time and until the next video, bye-bye.